probably noticed I don't feel about that war the way we were told we were supposed to feel about that war the way we were ordered and instructed by the United States government to feel about that war you see I tell you my mind doesn't work that way I got this real moron thing I do it's called thinking and I'm not a very good American because I like to form my own opinions I don't just roll over when I'm told to. Sad to say, most Americans just roll over on command, not me. I have certain rules I live by. My first rule, I don't believe anything the government tells me. Nothing. Zero. No. take very seriously the media or the press in this country who in the case of the Persian Gulf War were nothing more than unpaid employees of the Department of Defense and who most of the time most of the time function as kind of an unofficial public relations agency for the United States government so I don't listen to them I don't really believe in my country and I gotta tell you folks I don't get all choked up about yellow ribbons and American flags now, to balance the scale, I'd like to talk about some things that bring us together. Things that point out our similarities instead of our differences. Because that's all you ever hear about in this country, is our differences. That's all the media and the politicians are ever talking about, the things that separate us, things that make us different from one another. That's the way the ruling class operates in any society. They try to divide the rest of the people. They keep the lower and the middle classes fighting with each other so that they, the rich, can run off with all the fucking money fairly simple thing happens to work. You know anything different, that's what they're going to talk about. Race, religion, ethnic and national background, jobs, income, education, social status, sexuality, anything you can do, keep us fighting with each other so that they can keep going to the bank. You know how I describe the economic and social classes in this country? The upper class keeps all of the money, pays none of the taxes. The middle class pays all of the taxes, does all of the work. The poor are there, just to scare the shit out of the middle class. Keep them showing up at those jobs. Politicians know that word, they use it on you. Politicians have traditionally hidden behind three things. The flag, the Bible, and children. No child left behind. No child left behind. Oh, really? Well, it wasn't long ago you were talking about giving kids a head start. Head start, left behind. Someone's losing fucking ground here. But there's a reason, there's a reason. There's a reason for this, there's a reason education sucks, and it's the same reason that it will never, ever, ever be fixed. It's never gonna get any better, don't look for it, be happy with what you got. Because the owners of this country don't want that. I'm talking about the real owners now. The big, re the wealthy, that, the real owners, the big wealthy business interests that control things and make all the important decisions. Forget the politicians. They're, they're, they're an irrelevant. The politicians are put there to give you the idea that you have freedom of choice. You don't. You have no choice. You have owners. They own you. They own everything. They own all the important land. They own and control the corporations. They've long since bought and paid for the Senate, the Congress, the state houses, the city halls. They got the judges in their back pockets. And they own all the big media, media news, all the big media companies, so they control just about all of the news and information you get to hear. They got you by the balls. They, they spend billions of dollars every year lobbying, lobbying to get what they want. Well, we know what they want. They want more for themselves and less for everybody else. But I'll tell you what they don't want. They don't want a population of citizens capable of critical thinking. They don't want well-informed, well-educated people capable of critical thinking. They're not interested in that. That doesn't help them. That's against their interest. That's right. You know something? They don't want people who are smart enough to sit around the kitchen table and figure out how badly they're getting fucked by a system that threw them overboard 30 fucking years ago. They don't want that. You know what they want? They want obedient workers. Obedient 
workers, people who are just smart enough to run the machines and do the paperwork and just dumb enough to passively accept all these increasingly shittier jobs with the lower pay, the longer hours, the reduced benefits, the end of overtime, and the vanishing pension that disappears the minute you go to collect it. And now they're coming for your Social Security money. They want your fucking retirement money. They want it back so they can give it to their criminal friends on Wall Street. And you know something? They'll get it. They'll get it all from you sooner or later because they own this fucking place. It's a big club and you ain't in it. You and I are not in the big club. The greatest form of control is where you think you're free when you're being fundamentally manipulated and dictated to. One form of dictatorship is being in a prison cell and you can see the bars and touch it. The other one is sitting in a prison cell but you can't see the bars and you think you're free. What the human race is suffering from is mass hypnosis. We are being hypnotized by people like this. News readers, politicians, teachers, lecturers. We are in a country and in a world that is being run by unbelievably sick people. The chasm between what we're told is going on and what is really going on is absolutely enormous. The greatest hypnotist on planet Earth is a oblong box in the corner of the room. It is constantly telling us what to believe is real. Historically, the control and manipulation of political opinion has been the Freemasons' main weapon in gaining control of countries and states. Once in control of the rulers and politicians of a country, laws and political structures could be changed in accordance with their agenda. However, since restricting the body does not necessarily mean restricting the mind, the Freemason recognizes that their plan for a global government hinges completely on subduing the masses to their agenda, and thus eliminating opposition to their cause. And the greatest threat to their plan, posing more danger than any army or law, is the threat of a free-thinking mind. In order to eliminate this threat, and to achieve their objective, the Masons have set about the boldest plan ever devised. The complete control of every aspect of human life. Your life. And the weapons they are using against you are in your very homes, entertaining you and your children, and gradually indoctrinating you without you even realizing. 